This is an espresso machine. This is an automatic filter coffee brewer. This is the Chemex. This is the V60. And this is the Aurea coffee dripper. One of the smallest coffee brewers in the world. And today I wanna to talk about why I love this so much and why it's currently one of my favorite coffee brewers to date. I'm really excited about this video because this is, this is a pretty cool little piece of coffee tech. It's nothing revolutionary, but yet it is. And I'm really excited to talk about what I love about this, what I don't love about this, and who is it for. Because I do believe this isn't actually a coffee brewer for everybody. Now in this video, I'm gonna try not to bounce around too much. I got roasted in the last video about my bouncing. And I, I totally get it. I get passionate about stuff and I start moving around. I'm sorry if I move around a lot. I don't really know what to say. Like it's not gonna probably change, but I'm gonna try and plant myself as best as possible and hopefully you can get used to it. It's just me. So let's talk about this little guy. This is designed and manufactured in the UK and it's tiny. Like this thing is so, so small. All right, here come the jokes. I don't even think video or pictures do it justice when I got this for the first time I opened it I could not believe how small this was talking to Horia who designed this in the UK he designed this for something to be on the go while camping as a nice little portable coffee brewer that you could throw in your bag and not worry about breaking because of its aluminum body but also not take up too much space either now for a long time when it comes to travel and coffee the AeroPress has definitely been the champion in that regard there are other options and obviously many pour over methods will work for that but the one thing I always find difficult with traveling with coffee is the space it can take up in a bag some people might be okay with that and others may not so an invention like the Aurea really comes in handy for a lot of people because you can throw this in anywhere and it's gonna fit and the convenience of not having to worry about it breaking is really really nice it does use an all aluminum body Aurea actually advertises this as one piece of aluminum one block of aluminum that they mill this from and you can actually tell this thing is really high quality. It's also not cheap. But today I wanna to test this and see who's this for because, well not for everybody, this might be for you. And it's definitely for me. But why so expensive? What really makes this worth that money? Well, this is a one buy, unless you lose it, you're gonna have this probably for the rest of your life. Unlike a ceramic V60 or a glass Chemex, those things can break. With an all aluminum build, this thing is not breaking anytime soon. Challenge accepted. I currently have a model with a leather sleeve, and I think this is a really unique design. And talking to Aurea about this design feature, they wanted something that was rugged, and it's something that was beautiful. But it's also functional. It just feels very different to me, a very different coffee experience. You know, pouring a pour over has kind of felt the same, no matter what brewer you use, it's generally the same. But with the Aurea, I didn't feel that. When I brew coffee on this, the leather heats up, and it actually emits a smell unlike anything I've ever smelt before when brewing coffee. Well, because it's leather. It's unique and it's just different. It looks cool, it's small, and I like it. But what really separates this thing apart from any other coffee brewer that I currently use is its whole design. Now this is a flat bottom brewer similar to a Kalita Wave or a Fellow Stag X or any other flat bottom brewer that you might have. But Aurea made a very, very intentional design with this brewer. And that is the design that allows coffee to be very, fast flowing. And this is what I think is very interesting about this because while there might be a ton of pour over brewers on the market, give or take, they're all very similar in the way that they brew coffee. Especially when it comes to flat bottom brewers, this one might have that many holes, this one might restrict flow this way or that way. But the Aurea basically has no restriction on flow. What I found on this brewer is that it has some incredible capabilities of brewing coffee like I've never brewed it before. To pair that with very, very small batches of coffee, I mean, this thing can only max out at about 16 grams of coffee. Again, this isn't for everybody, but Ori is working on a solution for that in the future. We'll talk about that later on in this video. Back to the hole design. As you can see on the bottom, there's one giant hole in the center, and on the outside, you also have rings. Now, you might see this and go, yeah, Kyle, that's gonna have some issues with bypass, or in other words, water flowing past the coffee. We're gonna talk about some recipes that I use at the end of this video to kind of combat that. But it allows me to brew coffee unlike I've ever brewed it before. Some other things to note, it comes in a black leather option as well, or a lighter brown. And depending on when you're watching this video, I know that Aurea is working on a silicone solution for this dripper. 
So that leather smell that you get when brewing hot coffee, it kind of eliminates that. That smell doesn't affect the flavor of the coffee by any means. For me, I actually really enjoy this because it's different, but I could totally understand why people wouldn't like that 100%. This is also their second version of this brewer. And I actually have their version one as well. And you can see that Aurea made a unique design change in the V1 to the V2. The V1 is also a really great brewer. Just a different design, nothing better or worse, but I do like the fact that they've changed to a faster flowing going forward. But having a V1 is pretty cool because, well, they're pretty exclusive and they're pretty hard to find. But that's all great and fine, Kyle, but is it worth the money? Well, why don't we test this brewer out, brew some coffee, and I'll tell you my experience with it. So I'm gonna turn on my kettle, heat up some water, and while that's heating up, I wanna tell you about this video sponsor, Standart Magazine. Standart is an independent magazine about specialty coffee, its culture, and its people. I don't know about you, but in the digital world we live in, I love a physical magazine to read while drinking my morning coffee. And Standart is easily my go-to read. It's a beautiful magazine filled with photography and art. It continually educates me on happenings around the world in coffee, new and exciting recipes, and not to mention each issue comes with a wonderful sample of coffee from around the world. If you wanna learn more about Standart or subscribe to their magazine, click the link in the bio or head to standart.com forward slash Kyle to sign up for a year subscription and receive free shipping worldwide and support this channel. Oh. Thank you, Standart Magazine, for sponsoring this video. Okay, we're gonna brew up some coffee that I actually received from Standart, which is a natural Ethiopian. Now, I have two favorite recipes with the Oria Brewer currently. One of them is to brew very, very fine, and I'm gonna explain how fine in a second. It's gonna blow your mind. And then the other is to do a more multi-pour brew method. So, the first recipe I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brew 16 grams of coffee ground very fine. Like on my niche zero, we're talking just a few notches more than espresso. So probably between, you know, that 20 to 30 mark. It's pretty fine, but because it flows so quickly at such a small dose, it doesn't over agitate and it's not over extracting that coffee. With the Aurea, one thing I've found is that it is so small, it doesn't fit on every cup. So a little hack that I've personally used, I use the origami base to rest on my server. And then because this is so small, the holes actually fit right inside the center of the origami base. Just a little hack that if you need to, you can use. Okay, so the Aurea uses Kalita 155 filters. Those are pretty readily available. And these guys still, as small as they are, still fit above the ridge line of the Aurea. Not an issue though, it doesn't affect the brewing, but just something to note, be sure to rinse this nice and well. Now for this recipe here, I'm brewing at 210 degrees. That might seem high, but I find with the small dose and fast extraction rate, you really wanna raise that extraction with the temperature of the water. And we're gonna do that today for the Aurea as well. All right, once that's all rinsed, be sure to dump your water. We're gonna add 16 grams of finely ground coffee. For this first recipe, I'm gonna do a bloom at 40 grams, and we're gonna wait about 30 seconds. We're at 30 seconds, so now I'm gonna pour one single slow pour up to 250 grams of water. Check this out. This is ground in the espresso range. It's dripping. It's such a quick brewer. What's really nice about grinding so fine is that most grinders are more consistent the finer that you get. This is a great brew method if you do like highly extracted coffee with a lot of sweetness uh, or just very strong coffee. This is awesome. Now I'm using a pretty lightly roasted coffee here supplied to me with my Standart magazine. And yeah, it smells amazing, it looks amazing. I mean, is it gonna taste amazing? Probably, this thing's pretty awesome. Oh, I'm so excited to drink that. But before I give you my impressions on this coffee, let's talk about that second recipe that I've been using with the Aurea. And that is a multi-pour recipe. Now, recently I've made a video on the 4-6 method from Tetsu Kasuya, and if you haven't yet seen that video, I'll link that right above here. Go watch that and then come back to this video because that really explains a great brew method for multi-pour brewing. If you've only ever tried like James Hoffman's V60 recipe or recipes that use a bloom and then a single pour, it's really good to understand multi-pour brew methods. Having a multi-pour brew method is great because it can agitate your coffee and slow down that brew. And in the case of the Aurea being such a fast flow rate, we can really slow down that brew by agitating our coffee with multiple pours. So for this brew method, I'm gonna grind a lot coarser than I would for my single pour brew method. Again, on my niche zero, you're in your mid 30s to even 40. And then I'm gonna be pouring five pours of 50 grams. The first coffee that I brewed, it's very highly extracted. 
but it's not bitter. It's not astringent. It's just good. On the other hand, this second coffee that I brewed with the multi-pour method is delicious. It's just alive. It's very clear. It has a lot of clarity. I just, I like it. I, maybe you won't. I don't know. It's, I can't say for you to buy it. It's a brewer that I like. It's new. It's fascinating. It's expensive. You know, that's should be noted. And I'm not, I'm not disqualifying that. So let's talk about that. Who, who's this for? Well, if you're a beginner getting into coffee, the Oria is so fast brewing, I wouldn't recommend it as one of your first brewers. I think this is a brewer that you should aim for after getting really good with like the V60 or the Kalita Wave or Fellow Stag or any one of those brewers. But if you find yourself wanting to explore filter coffee, try new pour over methods, the Oria is such a great option. What about you though? Like, is this something that interests you? Do you like seeing this innovation in coffee? Do you care for the small size of the Aurea? Now, before you go, I also want to give one of these away to you. Well, more specifically, my patrons. And as heartbreaking as it is, I'm going to give away my version one. And since there's only a few of these in the world, so this is a pretty rare item, but I want to thank my patrons for supporting this channel and enabling me to do what I do. If you want to become a patron or find out more about that link down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It really does help this channel out. I know it's all the YouTube things. I really don't like saying them, but it would really help out this channel if you guys could leave a like and comment down below what your thoughts are on the Aurea. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, if you want more videos like this, if you're into subscribing, it's free. Hit that little red button down below and join along for some more coffee videos in the near future. Peace. We'll see you guys next time.